Hi everybody, welcome back. I am here today to talk about another bag. This is the mini duffel from Love 41. And I think you know, but Love 41 is um, the, there's a husband and wife. The husband has Saddleback Leather as his company and the wife has Love 41. And she primarily has a targeted audience of women and these are some of her bags. Um, I reviewed, a, I think a couple of them be sure to browse my channel. I have, I think, 20 videos now of bags that I've reviewed from several different companies. And um, if ever you want to be notified of my latest review, just go ahead and subscribe. I always forget to tell people to do that. So I thought I'd start there and um, I post maybe once a month, once every other month, so it's not really frequently. But um, I do have some fun things coming up in the next month or so that you you'll really want to be notified of that. Okay, let's move on. So, Mini Duffel Love 41. And I haven't seen any YouTube reviews on this bag yet. Uh, when they launched it, I was really eager to try it, but I was like, no, I think I'm good. I don't, I don't know if I need another bag. And so it came to be that somebody on a Facebook group where we buy and sell used bags was selling this one or willing to trade. So I traded her one of my bags and she sent me this. And I'm really excited. I I think it gets mixed reviews. People say it's too small or it's deceiving in size. You're not really sure what can fit into it. So of course I'm gonna do a review for you guys. So I'll show you what fits in it. I'll model it for you. I'll get the modeling out of the way first. That's easier. Okay. So I'm 5'5". Five five. And here is how the bag fits on me. It does have a really long adjustable strap. Um, I don't even need to put the extra strap in here because of how I have it. Get the hair out of the way. I like to have the bag hanging kind of low here. That's my preference. But it could go even lower if you needed it to. Um, let's see where the buckle lands. I think the buckle's on the back there. It's not hitting my shoulder at all which is awesome. Um, the strap actually attaches to the rings here, and I'll show that in a moment. There's no side ring to attach the crossbody. Uh, anyway, so I'm 5'5". Five five. Here we go. I hope that helps. So it is a smaller bag, and the reason I wanted it too was I sat down one day and I was thinking about all the reasons I leave my house. I'm an interior designer, so I work from home. I have my own company, and I was like, I leave the house for errands, church, meetings, and friends. And primarily, I need a smaller bag because I'm more frequently running errands, and um, I don't have tons of meetings to go to, so I didn't need a larger bag. I was needing a larger bag in the past for my A5 Filofax, a water bottle that's larger. I like to carry a lot of things with me when it's a big day, like it's going to be out of the house all day. I have painting supplies I want to bring, all this stuff. But when I'm running to Walmart and back, uh, I don't need a large tote. And if you can see behind me, my collection of bags, I don't have a lot of smaller bags. I just have the book bag is the smallest bag I have. That's from Saddleback Leather. And I have a review on that on my channel. Okay, so I'm explaining to you why I thought a smaller bag made sense, and it totally does. I'm always reaching for it. I feel like, I don't know, I underestimated a small bag. So, this one retails for $109, and I'll go through the specs of it, but the dimensions are uh, six and a half high, nine and a fourth wide, and four and a fourth deep. So, uh, it was hard for me when I first saw this bag. I'm like, what is, what can that fit? I don't know. <laughs> we'll get to that. Um, and it's made of full grain leather. It's actually one piece. I'm looking at notes. Can you see that I'm looking at notes? Uh, full grain leather, which means it's the highest quality leather out there. It is, um, has a 41 year warranty. It's actually made of only one piece of leather, which I thought was so fascinating. The way they found where to put the seams. Brilliant. Brilliant. This is chestnut leather, and I'm holding it closer because I want you to see the logo. It's right here. And it kind of, this chestnut leather, they said they tumbled it, so it's a little bit more 
wrinkly and I love it. It's softer, it's pliable, it is lined with pigskin lining on the inside, which means if you spill in it, you can easily wipe it out. But um, the structure of the bag is there, but it's still softer, if that makes sense. Um, 1.2 pounds. So on the lighter side of their bags, other, when you have leather bags, it comes with weight. But the simplicity of this bag makes it pretty light because there's no exterior pockets and no interior pockets. So if you're that kind of person who needs pockets on the outside, now you know. Okay, um, the handles are made from suela leather, which is a vegetable tan leather, and it's stiffer. It is, they, um, they say on the website that this part is going to get a patina faster over time and patina means that the leather is darkening it's absorbing oils and dirt and this is a good thing people like patinas so I've been using it for three weeks I don't see tons of patina yet but I'm welcoming it when it comes okay have I gotten all the specs done oh and a YKK zipper I don't know if you know much about zippers but YKK is a quality brand and uh, so it zips across like this they don't have a lot of zippers on their bags in this company. So I was welcoming it. I love zippers. It makes you feel a little more secure, a little more waterproof. Um, okay, we're going to jump right in. So I'm going to unload this so you can see how much I put in here. Even though this isn't what I'm bringing around every single day, this is for you at home to see the max capacity. And I have a couple other things I want to switch out. So if you can see. Okay. Well, girl doesn't walk around town without a tape measure. I always have a tape measure. Well, I try to always have a tape measure. Winter gloves, I know it's spring, it's April, but I just want to show you that you can fit them in. Standard side sunglasses or a reading glass case. This is a makeup pouch, um, but I actually have a lot of random things in it. I'll go through that in a second. The long tried fold wallet. Now, it doesn't go in standing up. It peeks out but it can lay down very comfortably. This is a Saddleback Leather product. I have a review on this wallet. Uh, let's see, and then my cell phone. This is the HTC cell phone. Somebody asked me online if an iPhone 6 Plus fits. I think the iPhone 6 Plus is about this much taller. It fits very comfortably in this bag. And I actually have, what? My iPad mini. This is a sleeve from Saddleback Leather, iPad mini sleeve in the color carbon. And it fits very nicely. Really like the sleeve, and it fits uh, standing up in the middle. Business cards, tissues, and it's empty. So let's see if I can rotate this, and you can try and see inside. Pigskin lining, no pockets, and it's okay because I I'm a pouch person. If you watch any of my videos, I always have pouches. Um, I always have this pouch with me. I feel like women always have these kinds of pouches, but um, there's lots of different things inside of here. I guess I can show you. Um, I'll do it really quick. We have my meds, uh, like ibuprofen and that kind of stuff. I have some lipstick. I'll do it really quick. Hand sanitizer, headphones, chapstick. This is a little microfiber cloth I got from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was really cute. A little nail file, hair tie, bobby pins. This is one of those inhalers so you can clear your breathing. Um, this is Altoids in a little like cute tin. Car keys, oops, throwing things around. Floss, pen, this is the, the space pen. Remember that? Writes upside down. And it kind of extends to a full-size pen. Anyway. Uh, Dramamine and... Most random thing? Scissors. I use these at least three times a week. I'm glad I always have them with me. I don't even have kids. And I carry all this stuff. So imagine when I have kids. Oh my gosh. That'll be like a whole new video series, I feel like. And that's not happening right now. But I'm just saying, like, can you imagine when I, like, I'm on the hunt for a diaper bag? Okay, that's getting off subject. So I'm loading this back up, mainly because I want to keep this thing full so I can show you other things I put in my bag. and So you can understand at home, um, I guess, what can fit 
for your everyday carry. I should measure this for you. This is six inches by four and a half, by like one and a half inches, if that helps, because I don't know what kind of makeup bag you have at home. Um, okay, so I wanted to show you that this is the personal size file effects, and I'm going to place this in here. I'm going to put my makeup bag, and you know, I'm going to put things on the bottom that I'm like not going to reach for in and out of Walmart, but I would like to have with me if I'm running around town for a couple of hours. So maybe the tissues go lower, business cards, <clears throat> sunglasses, and you got to play with like having things stand up or lay down. And then I haven't put a wallet in here. I'm sorry. <clears throat> so when I travel around the states or the world, I like to use my long trifold wallet. I like to use this on road trips. I don't always use it when I'm running around town. I just think I'm a more simple person on what I carry when I'm actually in my hometown. So I've been carrying around this men's wallet. It sounds really bizarre. It's very backwards for me because I'm more normally wanting to carry some of my favorite brands, but this is just Fossil. Uh, it was on clearance. And it's very simple. I like that the cards stand vertical. Okay, so this guy's going in. And my cell phone. Can my tape measure fit? I think it can. Okay, and then I'm just going to zip it up again. So for this version, I didn't have the long trifold or the iPad mini or the gloves. So I feel like the gloves, yeah, the gloves could probably fit because they're so soft. And again, we're going to zip it up. Now the zipper is a really high quality brand, but I wanted to mention like it's a little bit mm, like sharp sharp because it's not sharp but it, it, it I have a little bit more dry hands I feel like right now and I'm kind of feeling it maybe I'm just not used to using zippers I just thought I'd mention that um I want to make sure I mention everything I love about the bag it's surprisingly spacious and I like that it can hold a lot but not look big on my side if that makes sense these top handles are really nice I'm always grabbing them they do fit in the crook of your arm so you can walk around like this which is a style that I've been really enjoying. Look at me struggle. Sorry. Let's see. Let's see. This looks nice. And I actually leave the zipper open quite a bit when I'm walk walking around the store. Because um, if I'm wearing a crossbody, it's not going to tip over on me. And uh, what was I going to say? The design is very simple. I feel like this design is not been done everywhere. But it's very a fresh take on Love 41 bags, um, and I, I, I welcome that. I welcome that. Uh, and it's very light, you know, for being a smaller bag made out of leather, there's always concerned of how heavy it is, but even filled up like this, I'm having no issues with it. Um, so maybe if you have issues with more of a weight, and you don't really carry that much, this could be a good version, and you can still have your leather. Uh, so for the things that I wish would change was I wish that they had D-rings on either side of this. I'm guessing that the train of thought is that they wanted a simple design. They didn't want to have to add hardware because if you don't actually wear the crossbody, you know, maybe they want it to just be able to look like a little mini duffel like this. Okay, but I don't really like clipping the crossbody on this way. It does wear fine, like you don't feel uncomfortable, but it kind of keeps the straps, uh, they kind of stand up a little bit more. I've tried it both ways. I'm just wondering if as it gets looser and more pliable, they might hang. Let's try it again. Let's make sure I'm telling you the right thing. Okay. So let me zip it up. Okay, zipped. And these have snaps on the side. Did I show you that? I think I still get max capacity out of the bag. So here's the straps down. Plus they don't wanna they don't wanna stay down. But I don't mind how it looks up. So I'm not really saying it's a flaw, it's just something to notice or to point out. Um it makes it easier to grab. And so that would be my flaw that I would mention is that I'd love for there to be D-rings on the side. 
Uh, I think this is it, guys. I mean, adjustable strap. It is finished on the inside, but I haven't had any problems with the buckle rubbing me. It stays on my shoulder well. Um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. Please leave them below. I love talking to you guys. I know we'll never meet, but it's kind of fun to kind of like see myself as helpful in your process of finding the right bag for you. Um, follow me on Instagram. I post photos all the time of me wearing the bags and different outfits. All that information is in the description box below. So uh, subscribe if you like this kind of stuff. Follow me on Instagram. I have a website where I post all the pictures if you don't have Instagram. So if you don't have Instagram, don't feel like you have to sign up just for me. Just look at the description box below. You'll see what I'm talking about. All right, I will talk to you guys later. See you.